Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and tonight I'm going to do a video to fill in where I do not think there is any information out there. Now, while this is a very easy gun to work on and arguably is an extremely simple firearm, there are no videos on YouTube on a field strip of a USC. Now, there are many videos of how to field strip a UMP, which is what this gun is eventually going to be converted into once I get the Form 1 approved and source all the parts and send it off to Tommy Bostic. However, when I was trying to look up some videos on field stripping this gun, I could only find videos that said, oh, a field strip of a USC, but it was already a converted gun, which is actually going to disassemble differently than a stock USC. So before I did all of that work, I wanted to make a video on how to field strip a USC. It's actually super easy. This is one of the most simple and basic guns out there being just direct blowback. It has so few parts. It's just super easy and simple. So first thing you want to do, of course, is remove the magazine. Then you want to charge the weapon and visually inspect the chamber to make sure that there is nothing in the chamber. As you can see, we are safe and we are clear. Then all you're going to need is a five millimeter Allen wrench, or it's the size that they say in the manual. And there are two screws on this one on this side of the, of the receiver, and one on this side, and you have to just remove those. And then you will pull the stock straight back. Now, once this gun is converted to a UMP, it will have a push pin, and the stock will come off very much like an MP5. Now, I think the reason that they made the gun this way is so that parts cannot be transferred between the, the two guns. It probably had to do a lot with import restrictions. But, oops, let's, let's go ahead and take this one off here. Really easy and simple. Screw out. And then simply the stock and the pistol grip will come off as one unit, which on the UMP conversion, it doesn't work that way. The stock is separate. You can set that aside. You can now hinge the lower receiver down because it hinges right there, it simply comes off. There's your lower receiver. And if you wanna get the bolt and recoil spring out, you simply charge the gun back here a little bit. You can pull out the recoil spring and you can just push the bolt out. And that's it, that is a field stripped USC. It is that easy. So if you wanna put it back together, obviously, it's the reverse of removal. So we'll start with the bolt. Slide the bolt back into the gun. Get, make sure it gets in the rails. Should slide all the way up like such. Got your recoil spring. Goes into the bolt, slides in there. You then want to take your lower receiver. Make sure you hinge it around the pins. Bring it back up. Then Install the stock, and there's gonna be some grooves right here on the lower receiver, which will correspond to some grooves within the pistol grip. So make sure all of that lines up. See, I just missed it there, there he is. And so I've discovered when I reinstall the screws, you want to make sure that you're pushing on the stock from the rear into the receiver to line up all those parts. So, first screw just goes in. I just kind of hand tighten them first. Turn the gun over, come to the other side. Push the stock in. Hand tighten a little bolt or screw there. And then simply lock down those two screws. And that should be an easy field strip of the HK USC. And then just check for function. Of course it has the bolt hold open. And that's it. So there we go. Field strip and reassembly of the HK USC. So in case you have one of these firearms, now there is a video on YouTube to help you out. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.